What's up everybody, my name is Matt. I hope you're all having a great day. And with the holidays around the corner, I know a lot of us are thinking about upgrades. And around the holidays, it's not uncommon to see some stuff up to 50% off their usual price. So today I'm gonna share with you what upgrades are gonna make the biggest impact on your gaming setup based on my own experience. And I'm also gonna let you know what tech and peripherals I'm personally looking into getting soon. I will also be sure to put in timestamps, so if you're interested in a particular thing, you can skip straight to that part of the video. And a lot of the stuff I'm gonna be talking about is actually on sale right now, so I'll be sure to have links for everything so you can check it out. And before I get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so kicking this whole thing off, something that makes a huge impact on your gaming experience is your mouse. I don't know why I waited so long to upgrade my mouse. I was just using the generic one that came with my computer for the longest time. But also, I don't think I really realized what a huge difference it would make. I didn't realize that a good mouse allows you to change the DPI and sensitivity settings, lets you have custom button functions. There's different shaped mice for different feel and comfort. There's different mice weights, so instead of making it feel like you're moving a brick around your desk, it can make it feel like you're moving a feather. There's different skates underneath for more or less lightiness. There are optical switches and high polling rates for low input lag. And really your mouse is such a critical part of your setup because it takes in so much input from you. So might as well get a good one. So right now I'm looking into getting a Logitech G Pro super light mouse and I've heard a lot of good things about them. Reviewers are saying that it fits in the hand really well, it performs great, and I personally think that the white one looks really nice. It definitely seems to be one of the top gaming mice out there right now. And on top of all of that, it is currently on sale right now. I've also heard a lot of great things about the glorious Model O and Model D wireless gaming mice. And these gaming mice have really proven their worth. Glorious has been coming out with a lot of great stuff and all of the overwhelmingly positive reviews bring me to believe that these are also some of the best gaming mice out there right now. But as of now, I've been really happy with my current gaming mice, which both happen to be from Razer. And they are the Death Adder V2 and the Viper. And it's funny because I'm not a big Razer fan, but these mice are outstanding. So although these mice are both wired, they do offer wireless versions of each. And as of right now, these are all 50% off on Amazon. So you could get the wireless version for the price of the wired, or you could get the wired ones really cheap. And yeah, I really like the Death Adder because I mainly use a palm grip, so it fits nice and comfortable in my hand, and it's my main mouse for editing videos. Whereas the Viper is super light, which is great for making fast movements, and it's just a really solid gaming mouse. So yeah, if you're still using the generic mouse that came with your computer, I would highly recommend upgrading that first. Now for my next point, I wasn't sure if I should have put this first, but your chair makes a huge impact on your gaming experience. And really, if you're not comfortable at your desk, you're not gonna wanna be there very long. A good ergonomic chair can not only just help you be comfortable, but it can help you avoid back pain and neck pain, shoulder pain, forearm pain, bad circulation in your legs. And really, it's a health issue, so you wanna be healthy when you game. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of funny. You don't usually hear like health and gaming in the same sentence. So right now, I'm actually testing out a few different chairs, and I'm gonna be making a video on that soon. But but so far, I'm really liking the Autonomous 2021 ergonomic chair. It has a lot of different things that you can adjust, which I really like because then I can make everything fit perfect to me. But all of those adjustments wouldn't mean anything if this chair wasn't comfortable, and I think it is pretty darn comfortable. And on top of that, I think this chair looks pretty great too. So I would highly recommend trying out this chair, and although you do get what you pay for, sometimes you don't have to spend as much to get something decent. And I have found that IKEA offers some solid office chairs. So I do have the new IKEA Match Spell Gaming chair with me today, and I'm happy to say that it is pretty comfortable. Of course, there are less adjustments on this, but this chair costs less than half as much as the other one. Of course, if you have an IKEA store near you, you could go try one of these chairs out for yourself. And IKEA has that sweet 365 day return policy. So don't subject yourself to an uncomfortable chair. Get one that feels good to you and one that's not gonna cause you back problems problems further down the road. So next up is monitors. And it may sound silly, but you literally cannot play games without a monitor. And just because the box on a cheap monitor says it has the same resolution and refresh rate does not mean it's gonna look anywhere as nice as a high quality monitor. And again, with health, some cheap monitors can really strain your eyes. I've learned this myself the hard way. 
And if you have never experienced a 144 hertz monitor, it will change the way you look at gaming, no pun intended. So everybody has their own opinions when it comes to resolution and refresh rate, but if you really just don't know where to start, I'd recommend getting a 1080p monitor with a 144 hertz refresh rate. Of course, 1440 and 4K monitors are really nice too, but they require a lot of computing power to run them to their full potential, and same goes for wide monitors. And of course, there are also 240 and 360 hertz monitors out there. But my favorite monitor that I own right now is a LG Ultra Gear that is a 1080p 240 hertz IPS panel monitor. And in my experience, the 240 hertz is nice, it's super smooth, but I feel like 144 gets the job done just fine. Like I wouldn't recommend 240 to somebody unless they already had 144 and they were looking for something more. But I would recommend spending the extra money to get an IPS panel monitor. I'm convinced that it's not just a marketing gimmick like so many other things are. The IPS panel really does make the colors look better, there's better viewing angles, and it's just a lot easier on the eyes. And I didn't realize how much my old TN panel monitors were straining my eyes until I'd been using the IPS for a while. And then I went back to the TN and I was just like, Man, this, this burns. <laughs> so like I said before, you're gonna be looking at your monitor the entire time you're gaming. So might as well get one that looks good. And along with your monitor, I also recommend getting an adjustable clamp-on monitor mount. And ever since I've gotten one of these, I can't stop recommending them. They just have so much more flexibility than the stands that come with your monitors. They hardly take up any desk space. And you can get your monitor right where you need it, that way you're looking straight, not looking down and cramping up your neck. Again, I've learned this the hard way. But my favorite part about these is being able to just grab your monitor, put it where you need it, and let go. So these monitor arms that I have right now, they're okay, they get the job done, but they're not the best. They're a little pricey for what you get. So I'll put a link for these and hopefully that'll just help give you a starting point to find some better arms for yourself. So my next recommendation for upgrades is keyboards. I mean, who wants to walk up to an impressive setup and then feel the mushy key strokes of a cheap keyboard? Plus, a responsive low latency keyboard can give you a competitive edge. Mechanical switches can help you better feel what you're pressing and when. Seriously, I can type faster on some keyboards just because I can feel what I'm pressing better. So currently I have my old trusty Corsair Strafe keyboard with Cherry MX Brown switches and I use this for all of my video editing. I also have this 10 keyless Corsair keyboard with linear switches. And I also have this Red Dragon K530, which is my main gaming keyboard. And it just gives me a ton of space on the desk to use my mouse. And although this is a decent affordable keyboard, I'm looking to upgrade to get something a little more premium. So if you're looking for a pre-built keyboard, I've heard a lot of good things about Ducky keyboards. But if you're looking to get your feet wet with custom keyboards, Glorious now offers a lot of really nice looking custom keyboard parts and I really really want to try building one, but they do come with a premium price tag. And honestly, you don't have to spend a fortune to get a decent keyboard. So if you're getting your first keyboard, I would recommend getting something under $100. And then from there, try something that's under $200. And then if you want to get into custom keyboards, well then, you can spend whatever you want on that. But I do believe that a good keyboard not only looks and feels good, but can actually help you play better. Next up is headsets. The comfort of your headset can make a big difference, especially if you're using them for long periods of time. So you wanna get something that's well padded and doesn't squeeze on your head too hard. And a high quality headset can not only sound better for a more pleasant listening experience, but it can also help you hear things in game, which in turn helps you play better. And of course, having a good mic helps your teammates hear you better. So a while back, I made this video where I was comparing a bunch of headsets from $5 all the way to over $100. And while the expensive ones were nice, I was really surprised with how good the more affordable ones sounded. But right now, my main headset is the Logitech G Pro X and this headset is a force to be reckoned with. Straight out of the box, the sound is amazing. There's plenty of bass and high-end clarity, and you can further customize the sound through software. Whenever I'm playing online, people are always asking me what headset I have because they think the mic sounds great, and it's pretty comfortable to wear. And this is also on sale right now. As far as headsets that I'm looking to get, I really like how the Corsair Virtuoso looks, and it is on sale right now as well, so I might be picking that up in the very near future. 
All right, and for the last couple of things, I'm just gonna go through these real quick. Mouse pads. Ever since I switched over to extended mouse pads, I've been really enjoying all the space it gives me for my mouse. And I have noticed that my aim has gotten better since I started using them too. I have one from Amazon, one from Ikea, and one from Novel Keys, so I'll be sure to link them all. And my last recommendation for upgrading your setup is your lighting. Lighting can really bring your setup to life. Even a single LED strip on the back of your desk can completely transform the look of your setup. So I'm still working on my lighting, but there are just so many options out there. You can get lamps, floodlights, projector lights, monitor lights, light strips, Philips Hue bars, and there's just a ton of stuff you can get. But one brand that I haven't dealt with yet, but I've heard a lot of good things is Govi. So the next time you're getting lighting or an LED strip or something, see if Govi makes one because cheap lights are just an absolute pain to deal with. So yeah, if you're looking into making your setup look better, you know, maybe reduce a little bit of eye strain playing at night, just a few lights can make a big difference. So those are all of my recommendations for what to upgrade in your gaming setup. So I'll have links for everything in the description and if you wanna help support my channel, I will have an Amazon store-wide link. That way you can use that, get whatever tech you're gonna get. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me out. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later.